In 2005, the hip-hop world was surprised when G-Unit Records announced that they had signed Mob Deep to a record deal. Part of the surprise was that Mob Deep was a well-established rap group that was vastly different from the G-Unit image, so the deal was rather unexpected. At the time, every G-Unit artist was going platinum, so it kind of seemed Mob Deep would reach their highest level of notoriety with a machine like G-Unit behind them. But contrary to the expectations of some fans, such as myself, that didn't happen. So, the question is, what caused Mob Deep to leave one of hip-hop's most successful labels at the time? The first reason why Mob Deep left G-Unit Records is that the label was just a bad fit for them. G-Unit made gangster music that had a lot of mass appeal. They were masters of the catchy hooks, flashy videos, and polished rich thug type of image. On the other end, Mob Deep's career thrived off of the mafioso and gritty, grimy image that lacked polish, something that was much closer to the initial Wu-Tang style of music, where the sound was really grimy and dirty. The Mob Deep sound wasn't as polished and as commercial as the G-Unit sound, so they were just a bad fit for the label stylistically. On top of that, Mob Deep didn't really need G-Unit. They had had a string of successful albums that went gold and platinum prior to joining the record label. So it's not like they were hurting for commercial success, but I guess maybe they thought that joining the group was what would be best for their career. And they did have some success on that label, but it just didn't work out in the long run. Another factor is that Mob Deep's album with G-Unit was considerably different from their past projects. By the time they had gone to G-Unit, their music had changed, not in terms of lyricism, but more in terms of production, structure, and collaborators. Their five albums prior to signing with G-Unit had Havoc as the primary producer. Blood Money, which was released under G-Unit, had 16 tracks in total, but only six of them had production credits from Havoc, meaning that more outside producers came into play, and that affected the feel of the project. The album adopted a slightly more radio-friendly style with singles like Have a Party and the Out of Control remix, which were both bangers, but they weren't the usual grimy tracks that people associated with the Mob Deep sound. Blood Money was oversaturated with G-Unit artists, so it didn't sound like a typical Mob Deep album. In an interview with Hip Hop Nation, Prodigy mentioned that fans told him that Mob Deep had sold out because the album sounded a little too G-Unit. I mean, 10 of the 16 tracks feature a G-Unit member, so that claim is not a stretch. Lastly, another factor was that the album didn't sell as much as the label expected. In an interview with XXL magazine, Havoc mentioned that G-Unit's parent company Interscope Records was dissatisfied with the sales of Blood Money, so they let Mob Deep sit back until their contract expired. The album wasn't a flop by any means, it sold over 800,000 copies, but I guess that was not to the label's satisfaction. When you consider that 50 Cent, Young Buck, Lloyd Banks, and Tony Ayo had sold millions of albums and singles as solo artists and as a group, maybe 800,000 paled in comparison. So the benchmark was exceptionally high for any artist to follow, and unfortunately, Mob Deep didn't hit that benchmark. Despite leaving the label, Mob Deep remained cool with 50 Cent and the rest of the G-Unit artists, which is great to hear. Havoc produced and appeared alongside Lloyd Banks on Conway's track titled Juvenile Hell, which was another sign that there were no issues between the former G-Unit and Mob Deep members respectively. That's it for this one. Do you think Mob Deep should have signed with G-Unit? And if so, what do you think they could have done to improve their performance on the label? Also, what label do you think could have been a better fit for Mob Deep than G-Unit? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, see you in the next one, and subscribe if you like the content. Peace.